when we talk about uh, women empowerment, it's, these are issues which are very, very critical to development of any country. Any country which leaves behind uh, half or more than half of its population and think that they will develop economically, socially and politically, uh, that is uh, not correct. It will never happen. Stereotypes against women deter uh, many women uh, from entering politics. That's the, the, that's the primary uh, drawback uh, of stereotyping. Boys are told, uh, don't cry like a girl, uh, and girls are told, as I was when I was uh, five years old, uh, don't participate in building a plane, that's a man's job. Men take us as a vulnerable group. We are not seen as people because of the culture and traditions. El mismo sistema patriarcal la, las ve o las visualiza como la mujer que debe estar en casa y una mujer no puede ser madre y política al mismo tiempo. Aunque hoy día por la por las realidades económicas tanto hombre como mujer en su mayoría ya trabajan en la calle, de todos modos siempre es la mujer la que tiene que regresar a hacer los quehaceres domésticos y todavía a ver a los niños. Oh, a woman, you can't do that. Oh, you can't uh, stand up in public and talk. Oh, you can't be a, 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 a priest in church. And you're told, don't get in, in the middle of a political brawl. It's, it's a man's job. Uh, and as I defied uh, those boys when I was five and, you know, twisted my umbrella apparently, and I said, I will fly anyway, <laughs> regardless of whether they let me build that plane. I do the same in politics. Um, but of course it's tough. ميزات المرأة التونسية تشكو من بعض العراقيل المتعلقة خاصة بإشكالية العقلية وإشكالية مدى قبول المجتمع للمرأة القيادية في الحياة السياسية. Political parties bear the primary responsibility for the promotion and the encouragement and the recruitment. Uh, of women into politics. Therefore, I see political parties really as the primary engines um, without which it will be impossible to increase the number of women uh, in politics. Political parties are dominated by men. And as a result, we find that uh, very few women are actually, uh, they actually get involved as candidates during an election. In our last election in my country, for example, we only had 99 female candidates as opposed to 669 male. Hay convenios internacionales de la CEDAW, de la Convención Belendo Para, que de alguna manera se, se empiezan a aplicar en Guatemala, pero eh, no se refleja eh, en la vida política partidaria necesariamente. Son, son casos, si no excepcionales, eh, muy pocos casos de mujeres participando en, en política partidaria. Y sin embargo el liderazgo de la mujer sí se ve y se evidencia, por ejemplo, en las comunidades. Yo creo que lo que no hay es oportunidades. Si ves los niveles levels en los partidos, la mayoría de los miembros del partido, de los activistas, los partidos activistas, los que trabajan durante las elecciones, son mujeres. But then if you look at the higher levels, on the leadership levels, then the number of women is increasing uh, dramatically. Las mujeres uh, dentro de lo comunitario son, son lideresas, ¿verdad? Hay autoridades indígenas mujeres, hay comadronas, hay juventud indígena dentro de los cocodes, de los comudes que no necesariamente se han acercado, son parte de un partido político, sin embargo un partido político es una herramienta fundamental también para transformar el Estado y que por supuesto necesitamos a todos esos líderes y a esas lideresas, ¿verdad? que tienen más concientización que un político que tiene dinero y que llega al poder solo porque tiene el dinero y, y no tiene la claridad de las necesidades de, de la población en general.
women were double oppressed during colonialism. They were oppressed by colonialism, and they were oppressed in their own homes, in their own communities. So for the field to be leveled, it's necessary to have affirmative action. The challenges that women face in politics are different. Without this temporary measure, without the quota, um, it will take decades uh, to reach equality. Of course, in a perfect world, I wouldn't want quotas. I would want uh, natural equality, a society that produces possibilities for men and women to join parliament equally, but we don't live in that perfect world. Um, and in the meantime, as a temporary measure, um, you know, quotas are, are something that many countries around the world have used successfully. Constitutional provision of a quota, which came out in our constitution of, the, of, the, of Zimbabwe, provided 60 seats for women, and that actually brought together the number of women to 127 out of 350. And uh, that was a big jump, and that shows that affirmative action is very, very necessary if you are going to bring up those who have been left behind for too many years. If the woman is considered a woman in comparison to the number of people who have been left في أنحاء العالم ليس فقط بالمقارنة مع النساء في العالم العربي وفي العالم الإفريقي وإنما أيضا حتى بالمقارنة مع أعرق الديمقراطيات ومع الأنظمة السياسية الأكثر تقدما والأكثر تطور المرأة السياسية من حيث النصوص ومن حيث القوانين كانت محظوظة لأنها تتمتع بالمساواة مع الرجل إلا أنه ميزنا في الواقع عنا إشكالية متعلقة بالعقلية Without economic empowerment, uh, women will not be able to uh, really um, uh, exercise their rights. And uh, we are also working on the quota, uh, gender quota for the national elections. Uh, the law is already introduced, um, uh, submitted to the parliament, uh, the draft law. There are still a lot of discussions, you know, those who are against the quotas because they think that it is uh, the positive discrimination. We need more awareness rising and more education and uh, cultural change, the change of attitude, which takes more time. It's not that easy to change it. Uh, you can change the law in one day and introduce some, some regulations, but with this you will not change the real attitude of people and the culture. For that you need education. There's a lot of debate around the quota law uh, because people argue quantity does not necessarily mean quality. Uh, and certainly does not, but then again, uh, who says that the men that are in Parliament uh, are exceptionally qualified themselves? <laughs> the job which needs to be done is to make sure that those who, those women who I call frontline soldiers, who are councillors, who are members of parliament are given support. Support so that what they are doing becomes visible. Support in making sure that there is interaction with the media so that everyone out there has got an opportunity of understanding that those women who are in positions, what are they good for? Once that goes down to the rural people, to the grassroots people, it's easy for the electorate to vote without thinking about those old ideas they have. And when the process is more competitive and it's healthier, I believe that more women on a merits-based selection process can make it uh, on the lists and eventually into national legislatures. Because the woman in the 
وفي القوانين يلزم معناها ينتقل هذا التفعيل إلى أرض الواقع ويلزمها تشارك في جميع مراحل الحياة السياسية سواء من حيث التعبير عن الرأي أو من حيث الانتخاب وتمثيليتها في المجالس الانتخابية أو حتى من حيث تواجدها في موقع القرار This time round, women we have gone to school We need to, lead, to learn, we need to lead. Even possible, we become the presidents, not only the small positions, we also have to have the bigger positions. We have been interrogating what is our culture, what is our values, what are our traditional norms. Culture is dynamic also. Things have moved with the time. So we are saying that which really oppressed women should be taken away. If the whole world are feeling for the women, then it is not a laughing matter. It is a serious issue and we have to take it as a responsibility. If we have gone over this, the racial discrimination, slavery, colonialism, what is it which we can go over about women empowerment? It can be done. It can be done.